Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I've got two games in my uh, Chicago White Sox Stratomatic season against the Cubs. Now, if you'll recall, I think the last time I, I put up a... Uh, a White Sox uh, season game or games. It was also against the Cubs, the one where we infamously allowed nine home runs to the Cubs in uh, game one of that series. That was a two-game series, and this is a two-game series. In between, we had four games against the Indians, which I opted to quick play through. We went two and two in the series against the Indians, and that brings our uh, record on the year to 62 and 55 and we are still third in the AL Central um, I believe we're I don't maybe two and a half three games behind something like that behind uh, Cleveland and uh, about 12 behind or 12 and a half behind the twins so um, again, we're over 500, and that's a far sight better than uh, what the White Sox did in real life in 2019. However, so far this year, they're doing great now. When I recorded the Cub, the previous Cubs series, we were actually not that good. We were like uh, three and some, two and two and four. I think we were two and four at the time. But now the White Sox in real life are actually, um, I believe they're seven and five now. So, um, yeah, pretty good. They're seven and four. Seven and four. They're seven and four right now. However, that all depends on, I mean, that good start could be wiped out if the season gets wiped out in real life, in real baseball. So hopefully that won't happen. But we have this season right here in Stratomatic that we can look at and uh, and take some solace in. And um, we will get underway with this. Let me uh, turn down the volume here. Okay, so game one is going to be Giolito going up against Quintana. So, yeah, let's, oh, we got to change us to human. Oh, what the heck happened here? All right. Um, yeah, we'll just send down Rodan. All right. So, and then we're going to change them to computer. Um, Gilito Quintana. I think I like that line up and of course we are pitcher bat this time so there will be no Encarnacion if I'm correct and that is going to be the situation so we're playing without the DH even though in the real baseball season one of the rules that they adopted was that every team will have the DH this was a version of a possible season that could have been run when I uh, started the season that um, didn't end up happening. It's 148 games and we played 117 of them. And Anderson's out, so there's one down. Um, but I was going mainly by the rules of real baseball. I will, or real baseball, the way it would have been played or could have been played. Um, but, uh, and that includes the playoffs. But that also includes that yeah, there will be no DH um, when we are playing in National League parks. So Bote is leading off against uh, Giolito, and he walks Bote. So let's see. He's 70%. I think we'll let that go. Pitching to Baez, and he strikes out. Chris Bryant up. And he's going to walk. So Giolito has walked two guys on base with only one out. And Rizzo up at the plate. And he's hit by pitch. 
So Giolito's in a little trouble here. He's got the bases juiced with Schwarber up. And Schwarber is going to hit a ground ball A, thankfully, and get us out of the inning. So Abreu leads it off for us on the top of the second. And he's going to get a single. Nice ripping that single. Not good odds there. It was only one to seven. Uh, grand ball up. Let's see. Grand ball is going to hit a grand slam. No, he's not going to hit a grand slam. But he is going to hit a two-run home run, which is half of a grand slam. So the White Sox are up 2 nothing, and Jimenez is up, and I'm going to let him swing away, and he's going to hit a ground ball to shortstop, which is Baez. And that's an out. That brings up Mazzara, who we have not seen in real life on the White Sox yet. I don't know whether he's out because of the virus or whether he's injured or another home run. No, it's a double. Garcia with a double. 1 to 14, and he gets a 17. What are the odds? And then Giolito has to come up with two outs. Thanks. But he singles. And let's see if we can send Garcia. Or if he can just score on his own. That's cool, too. All right. So we've got uh, Timmy Anderson is going to hit a single double asterisk. Move Giolito to third. And Lewis Robert, come on. you got to come up big here. And he does not. But we do get three runs. I guess I shouldn't be too hard on the team. And then Hayward looks like he's going to ground out. Horner is up, and he's going to be out. And that brings up Fegley. Josh Fegley is going to double. I got Josh Fegley in one of my competitive Stratomatic Seasons leagues. And Quintana is up, and he's out. Thank you. So we'll go to the top of the third now. We're ahead 3 nothing, and Moncada's up at the plate and striking out. Abreu's up. He's one for one with a strikeout. So he's one for two now. And Grandall, one for one with a jack, and he walks. And that brings up Jimenez. And Jimenez is just missing a home run, getting a ground ball. So we'll go to the bottom of the third. Three nothing socks. Strike out for Bote. Baez hits it to center field. Going to probably be played by. Uh, by Robert, and it is, and Bryant's up, and he is going to hit the ball to first. That's a Abreu. Please make the play. And he does. So, Mazzara up, leading off for us in the top of the fourth. And that's going to be a ground ball to short, which is probably going to be out, because it's Baez. Brings up... Uh, Lurie, Lurie is ripping a double. He's two for two with two doubles. Unreal. But then again, now we have Giolito up with one out, this time at least. And he does strike out. So that brings up Timmy A. Don't pitch to Timmy A. He rips a double down the line, and we got a 4 nothing lead. That brings up Luis Robert. And he's going to hit the ball to second. That's Bote. Let's see if he can throw it into the upper deck. And he doesn't. So he makes the play. But we have a 4 nothing lead now. And I'm, I'm feeling kind of good with Giolito, even with his uh, lack of control here, that he can pull this one out for us. Uh, but that is going to be a single double asterisk by Schwarber. Runners are at the corners with no outs, so the Cubs could crawl back into this right now. And that's a left field X, so yeah. No, he dropped it E7. So it's 4-1, to one, and now there's a strikeout. That's good. Need that. With two outs, or with one out, Fegley, and he strikes out. Yes, yes, yes. We needed that. 
And now Quintana, and they're going to let him bat, and he strikes out. Wow. That could have been really, that could have let the Cubs really back into the game, but it didn't. And there's a home, no, it's going to be a double. Not a home run. It's going to be a double by Moncada. Abreu up. He's one for two, and he is going to, what is that going to be? It's going to be a single. I'm going to hold the runners. I know I shouldn't. I'm going to pay for that, but. Single one to six, no, but what happens? I'm going to try to advance. And we did get a run. Nice. So it is five to one, and Jimenez is up, and he strikes out. So there's two down. And Mazzara up. And Mazzara is going to knock that guy home, I think. Is that going to happen? Tell me that's going to happen. Yes, and Quintana's tired. There's no surprise there. And now we got the two for two Garcia up. But they're going to take Quintana out of the game and bring in Ryan. And that's a strikeout of Garcia. So now I'm going to go, you know what? I'm right now going to go to the, um, not the bullpen, but I'm going to go to the bench. And I'm going to put in Madrigal at second for Garcia. And I am going to put in, oh, they're not giving me the option. Hmm. They don't have uh, Angle. Oh, yeah, they do. All right, there he is. Angle I am going to put in for, um, for Jimenez in left field. God, I hate when it gets like this. Okay, so now we got a little better defense out there for Giolito. Fly ball to center. That's uh, Robert, and he should make the play. And he does. Brings up Baez, and that's a strikeout. And that brings up. Bryant, and Bryant's going to hit a home run. So Chris Bryant gets the Cubs on the board yet again. Got a little fireworks there over Wrigley, and it is now 6-2. to two. And Rizzo up, and Rizzo is going to double. So we're not really out of the, out of the forest yet. We got Schwarber, and Schwarber's hit by a pitch and injured on that play. And uh, he has to sit out the rest of the game, which is cool. So we got Hayward up at the plate, and finally, we are out of the game. So G. Lito's leading off for us in the sixth, and certainly I'm going to keep him in. Timmy Anderson, two for three with two doubles, and he, or no, one double. And he hits a single, so he's aboard. And at 90%, I'm even going to try to steal a base. And he makes it. So now Anderson's at second with Robert up and one out. And that is going to be a single. You know it. And I'm going, I'm, with one out, I'm going to send the runner. And I'm going to send the trailing runner, too. Ouch! They gunned him. You gotta be kidding me. And then there's a strikeout of Moncada. All right, we go to the bottom of the sixth. Still got a six to two lead now. And then Horner rips a double. See, I'm saying this is we're not safe against this Cubs team, especially you know it's the same team that hit nine home runs on us in the first game of the two game set. A while, a little while ago, Ken Ryan. They're gonna uh, pinch hit Tony Kemp for him, and he is going to hit a fly ball. Two down and Bote up, and Bote is out. So they didn't get any runs there, thankfully. That brings up Abreu. 
and Abreu was going to have a single. He's three for four on the day. And now Grandall is up. Yeah, we're going to let him hit. Strike out. One down. Angle. First shot. And Angle is going to hit a double. Nice. Defensive replacement comes through with a big hit. I'm not going to try to score a Brave, though. There's only one out, and it's a Brave running this time. And Mazzara comes up, and he is going to fly out. But. Can we score a Brayu on that? Uh, let's see. Runner on second. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess maybe he did score. No. Yeah, he did. All right. And now Madrigal is up. Two down. And he strikes out. And... That brings us to the seventh inning stretch, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a little bit of a treat here, and we are going to go with uh, we're going to go listen in on um, the uh, seventh inning stretch by um, is sung by their uh, their main man. What is his name? I forget his name. I hate when I get these brain parts. I can't remember the dude's name. Leave it in the comments. Oh, just say yes and we'll move on. So there you go. So now we will get on with the game. And Baez is up. Gilito is still out there in the seventh strikeout. Bryant is up, and he strikes out. Harry Carey, that's it. Got it. And I didn't even hear the, see the comments yet because I'm still playing the game. But, yeah, that was Harry Carey. So uh, they're down. And now with Giolito leading off in the eighth and us with a, a somewhat safe lead, I'm going to say I'm going to go to the bullpen. So. We will not, no, not, that's not me. So let's go with uh, Weck, Wyack is in. He's a 7R. He's a lefty who's a 7R. So what do I do there? I don't even know. Um, and Delmonico sucks, though. So I'm going to go in Canarsie home. That's really the only thing, answer I got right here. And he's going to swing away. And that's going to be a fly ball. Tim Anderson, three for four with a double. And no Cubs fans, I did not intentionally forget Harry Carey's name. I just, it's, it's, some, it's weird. When I do these videos and, like, I have to remember somebody's name, like, it comes right up on it and I got to remember it. For some reason, I just draw a blank. All right, so Moncada's up with Robert aboard and two down. And there's a walk, so we've got two runners down. Well, there will be a walk after this fly ball, or after this foul ball comes back. And now with two on, Wyatt is tired. And Abreu's up, and he's three for four with three runs. And they bring in Phelps. It's your mission, should you choose to accept it, Mr. Phelps. And Abreu hits a single. You know I'm sending Robert if I have the chance to send him, but I don't. My third base coach overruled me, and that brings up Grandall. And Grandall hits a slam. That Now that is a grand slam. That's what I'm talking about. 
So yeah, this is going to be uh, you know I can bring probably bring in the suckiest. All right, so I am going to bring in Ruiz. He is on the mound for us now, pitching to Hap. We have a big lead, so I am confident that Ruiz will not let us down. Although Hap does lead off with a single. And Hayward comes up now, and Hayward is going to line out or pop out to second. So there is one down for the Cubs here in the eighth. Horner is up. And Horner gets a single two. That's the single one to ten at one ten. And that's how the Cubs have gotten both of their hits. There's a fly ball by Fegley, though, so that'll be two down for the Cubs here in the eighth. And now Phelps is up, and they're gonna pinch hit for Phelps with Carantini, and he walks. So Ruiz, despite the fact that I had faith that he wouldn't ruin this uh, game for us, does load the bases and is tired. And then he allows a single. But I'm sticking with him. I'm sticking with him. We got Baez up after him. Another single. Maybe double asterisk. Maybe two runs there. I'm sticking with him, though. I'm going to at least let him get out of this inning. And he doesn't get out of the inning because that's a single because he's tired. So that's four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. It's like ten to six. And then that's a single. All right. Not a great idea. It's ten seven now. And Hap is back up at the start of the. Whoa. Uh oh. Home. Are you believing this? Oh brother, this guy stinks. They hit a home run. And so now it's 10 to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11. No, it's 11. All right, we still do have a one-run lead. And that is a strikeout. He gets Hayward. I am not happy about that, though. All right, so Mazzara comes up. Let me make sure that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 11. Yes, so it's 11 to 10. And we're going to swing away with Mazzara, and he strikes out. At least it was an entertaining game, right? I mean, believe me, I'm taking Ruiz out when we go out for the bottom of the ninth. And in fact, I'm taking him out right now because we're going to pinch hit for him. So uh, Kinsler is pitching, so I'm going to go with, yeah, let's go with Delmonico. I mean, not that he's really a good hitter at all, because he isn't. But, and no, he's out. So now that will force me to take Ruiz out, which is good. And we're going to bring in Evan Marshall to pitch and try to shut the Cubs down right here. There's a ground ball to the pitcher, and that's Marshall. Hopefully he makes the play. But no, he doesn't. He makes an error. And that brings up Fegley, and they let Fegley hit, and he hits into a double play. Thankfully, two down for the Cubs, and then that brings up Kinsler, who they will pinch hit for. And they bring up Descalzo, and Descalzo is out. And we hang on to win game one by the score of 11 to 10 because of Ruiz. And he's the only thing that made it even that close. But he has a 1641 ERA on the year good ERA for him and we will go to the end game and then we will light off game number two let's see who's going to pitch in that one it'll be Ronaldo Lopez against Alec Mills and we're going manual here um They've got Grandall catching for us, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to go with McCann. Okay. No, I'm going to switch him to catcher. And we're going to go with Braywood. Well, maybe we don't even want to go with Braywood first. I'll go Delmonico at first. Mills is a righty who's a 9R anyway, so we will do that. We'll. Go with Delmonico playing first base for us. Get some guys in that haven't played a lot. 
Uh, Garcia, what can we do with Garcia? Um, I'll just leave him there. So, all right. So we got Lopez going up against Mills. And Timmy A is going to lead off with a double. Nice. And it's a day game here. Love those day games. Lewis Robert up. And Lewis Robert is going to hit a single. Nice. It was a single one of three, and he got it. And he's got a 90% chance of going to second. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try that. And he is safe. Nice. So I, I got us out of the double play possibility. And then there's a single by Moncada that drives in two runs. And I'm going to hold the runners because of the fact that um, there's no outs. And I'm going to try to steal again. And now it drops to 15%, so I'm not going to. So McCann is up. I'm going to let him hit. And he strikes out. One down. Delmonico up. And Delmonico ripping a double. Nice call by me. Um, we are going to hold the runners at 55% chance. But that puts runners at second and third with one out. And we've uh, got two runs in already. And Jimenez up and he strikes out. Which brings up Mazzara. And he is going to double in two runs. Two more. So we got a four nothing. It's kind of like last game. I mean, we jumped on him last game and had to barely hang on to win because of Ruiz. But we uh, we got a real good chance here because we got a nice four nothing lead for Lopez, who's pitching to El Mora. Albert El Mora Jr. And he's out. Baez is up. He strikes out. And that brings up Chris Bryant. And Chris Bryant is out. Nice. He retired the side. Exactly what we want to see after scoring four runs in the first. And now Ronaldo Lopez. And Ronaldo is not going to get a single. That brings up Timmy A, and he is going to get a single. So he's aboard, and I have to try to steal again because, you know, you just got to. I'm going to try it even with 45%, and he does make it. Nice, nice. He sent them, they threw the ball away, so he went to third. One out, Timmy A at, oh, man, strikeout. So there's two down now with Timmy Anderson 90 feet away. And that's going to be an out. So I did everything I could. I mean, you know. Pitching to Rizzo, bottom of the second, and he strikes out. Schwarber. Schwarber is going to fly out. Beautiful day here in Chicago, it looks like. And Hayward up. And he is going to hit a single. And that brings up Horner. Horner strikes out. So he gets out of the inning. Nice. Still got a 4 nothing lead for Chicago for the Chicago White Sox because they're both Chicago. McCain with a fly out. That brings up Delmonico who doubled last time and he strikes out this time. Jimenez is up at the plate. And what was that? He's out. So Tony Kemp is up for the Chicago Cubs, leading off the bottom of the third. Fly ball. That's an out. So up steps Alec Mills, and he gets a catcher card. X, that's McCann. He's a pretty good catcher. And he's out. 
<clears throat> and Elmora. Elmora is going to hit a single. And he's got some speed, too. And that brings up Baez. And Baez strikes out. <clears throat> So we got Mazzara up. He's swinging away. He strikes out. Garcia up. Garcia strikes out. And that brings up Ronaldo Lopez, and he's out. But at least he didn't strike out. There's a lot of K's on that card. Chris Bryant is facing him in the bottom of the fourth, and he strikes out. Rizzo, Rizzo hits the ball at Garcia. Hopefully he can make the play. And he does. Nice. And then that brings up Schwarber. And Schwarber rips a single. Hey, we're up the plate with Schwarber board. And there is a two-run home run by Hayward. So the Cubs, with that blow by Hayward, um, cut the White Sox lead to four to two. And then there's a fly out by Hall. So we're gonna need Lopez to be on top of his game now. Anderson leading off the fifth though, with, and he's two for two with a double, and uh, that's gonna be a fly ball. Man, home run one to 12, and he missed it. Lewis Robert up the plate, and he walks. So, you know, I'm trying to steal here. 90%, yeah, we're definitely doing that. And he is safe, nice. So my Okada can try to drive him in, and maybe he did. I'm gonna, 70%, I'm sending him. And I'm gonna send the, I'm gonna send the trailing runner too. And I think they made it, yeah. Yeah, he did. So, cool. One out, Moncada at second, McCann up. And he is going to hit a fly ball. Missed a home run, although it was only a home run one to three. And that brings up Delmonico. Delmonico is going to be out. So, we did get one run, though, so now it is five to two. Tony Kemp up against Lopez. And he flies out. Thank God he didn't get the double. Alec Mills up. They let him hit. They're going to keep him in the game. And he hits a fly ball. And that brings up Albert Elmora Jr. who strikes out. So we go to the top of the sixth. Jimenez leading it off for us. And he hits the ground ball to first. That's Rizzo. He'll make the play. No, he doesn't. He boots it. Nice. All right. But Jimenez is not base stealer. He's not fleet of foot. And then that causes the double play by Mazar. So there's two down now with nobody out. And Garcia up the plate. And he is out. And I'm probably going to make a, the defensive changes similar to what I did last game. I am going to put Madrigal in at second, and I am going to um, put um, Angle this time in for Mar Mazzara. Last game, I put him in for Jimenez, so this game, I'll put him in for Mazzara. And there's a leadoff walk to um, Baez. And so that brings up Bryant with a man aboard, and he rips a double. So now I got to really decide here. I'm going to stop the uh, runner. It's five to three, I think. And now there's a triple. God, you're kidding. Yeah, he's tired. Um, yeah, I'm going to go get it. Because um, it's 5 4 right now with us in the lead by one. Um, I'm going to bring in C Shack to pitch for him. 
and he walks Schwarber. And I need a double play, so we'll just let it stay like that with the infield back. But he walks Hayward. Horner up. He hits a fly ball. And we'll see if that's enough to score Rizzo. And it probably will be. But I'm going to throw for the lead runner anyway. And did we get him? We did not. We did. We got him. Nice. So there's two down and Kemp up. And then Kemp just hits a three run home. It's all for nothing. So it's like seven to five now. And he's pitching to Alec Mills. Well, they pinch hit for him, so they, they got Descalzo in, but Descalzo is gone. So it is seven to five Cubs right now. And C Shack is going to be taken out by me. Oh, wrong team. Kinsler is still in or is in now, so um, I'm gonna go with the N Canarcion. Swing away with him. Hits a ground ball to second. And he's on. So I guess there was a misplay there. And then that brings up Anderson. Anderson walks. So now we got the first two runners on. No outs. Robert up. And he hits into a line. Don't be in triple play. Okay, what? But it's not good. It was a double play. Moncada up, and Moncada hits a single. Going to send the runner. Kinsler is tired, and McCann at the plate. And they bring in Stroke, and he strikes out McCann. So. We uh, have to, yeah. What are we talking about here? Who was the last out? Uh, yeah. All right, we're going to bring in Fry to pitch. And Elmore gets a home run. He's greeted. Fry bring, comes in, he's greeted with a homer. So. It is eight to five. We're down by three. Baez is up and he strikes out. So down by three with only two innings left. Not good. Bryant walks. Rizzo is up. And Rizzo hits into a double play. So we needed that. Delmonico up at the plate. And he gets a fly ball. Brings up Jimenez. He'll swing away. He's out. And that brings up Bengal. Who is hit by the pitch. And that brings up Madrigal. Who strikes out. So now we only have one more inning. We get three runs, at least three runs. But that's if Fry doesn't give up any more right here. And Schwarber ripped a single to lead off the inning for the Cubs with Hayward up behind him, and he strikes out. So one down, Horner up. Horner lines out into probably a double play. Yep. All right. So we got to have three runs right here, and Fry is not going to be the guy that I want to lead off with needing three runs. Kimbrell is out there. He is a righty who's an 8L. Not a lot of choices, though, so we're going to go with Mendick because the other two guys, I'm trying to give them a day off. And there's a home run by Mendick. But we still need to. So, I mean, as good as that is, let's not celebrate yet. But that's a fly ball, Timmy. One down. 
Lewis Robert up. And he hits a single. Now a two-run home run, and we're tied. With Montada at the plate. And he hits a fly to center, but that's El Mora who's going to play that ball. Two down, McCann up, and he pops out. Pop out! So we do split with the Cubs, one game each. See the records in a minute here. You got the White Sox, who are 63 and 56 now. The Cubs are 61 and 54. Both of us are over 500, but it doesn't, I would think, Neither one of us is going to the playoffs, but here's the uh, league stats. No, not the team stats. League stats. So here we are. We are in third place. We are 12 games behind Minnesota, and we are five and a half behind Cleveland. And then uh, if you are a Cubs fan, you can see that the Cubs are in second place, three and a half behind St. Louis. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.